And today is going to be a show. Oh. A very interesting, fantastic, hopefully fun show. Uh, to everyone hanging out with us live on Twitch, good morning. Thank you for hanging out with us. Lisa, thank you for gifting out a tier one sub. Um, Carla Marie. What? Oh, and to everyone watching us on YouTube later, thank you for hanging with us. We appreciate it. Uh, Alex said, so cool how they automated a voice to say thank you for subs and gifts. Yeah, right? Crazy. It sounds a lot like me. That's why well. you should be here live. <laughs> All right. So first off, this is the Carla Marie and Anthony show. I'm Carla Marie. My name is Anthony. And this concoction to the right of us, uh, you want to explain it first, Carla Marie? Um, so our friends at Seattle Cocktail Club gave it to us. It is uh, what is called a bartender's handshake. Now, that is not what the actual drink is. The drink is a DTO, which is a daiquiri timeout. And the idea behind a bartender's handshake is, you might explain this better. I actually left the paper with all the information downstairs. So basically, a bartender's handshake is a drink given from one bartender uh, who's working right. to a bartender who is visiting that bar. It's right. basically like usually a free drink. And it's kind of like, hey, we're in the industry together. Here you go. Let's have a good time. Yes. Right? And I guess the drink in the bartending world changes mm -hmm. randomly. And right now, it's a daiquiri timeout. So basically, it's a shooter, which we also learned yesterday. I didn't know there was a difference between a shooter and a shot. If you're taking a shot, it's just the alcohol. Like So like yesterday. When we took a vodka shot, it was just vodka. That's a shot. But if it's mixed with literally anything else, it's called a shooter. So we have daiquiri shooters today if we get through hype train level five. And we haven't even tried this yet. Mm -mm, no. So this is like a baby daiquiri. It's essentially a daiquiri that is made not for a full drink, but for right. a shot, maybe two, maybe three. Yes. Who knows? Which um, I didn't know like daiquiris weren't just strawberry daiquiris. Yeah, I think, I don't know if daiquiris are like big in New Jersey in general. That's fair. So I think when people in New Jersey go to like their Aruba trips, which is the only place people from New Jersey go right. for some reason, yeah, yeah. Um, they just get strawberry daiquiris on the beach. And that's why we've always thought about strawberry daiquiris. Now, I've never been to Aruba. My parents have. Have you been? No, my parents have. Yeah. Uh, uh, let's wow, see. The picture is adorable. The hair, picture is nice. My hair looked cute this morning. I don't know what's happening. My hair looked like I just woke up this morning, which is true because I woke up about 25 minutes ago, threw on this hat. Took out some garbage, and I'm ready to roll. We're going to have to start waking up earlier. I say that every time. It's harder now because it's getting colder and not as bright in the morning. Uh, we are at hype train level three, by the way. And I do have to talk about this new diet that I am reintroduced. Well, you can't really reintroduce something new. It is a part of a diet that I've tried before. I'm getting to like level two of that diet. Okay. And that's supposed to be this next six days. In the first part of the diet, you had, what was the thing? Tuna fish. Yeah. We all made fun of you. Tuna and tilapia. Which the tilapia really, everyone gave me crap for tilapia. It was fine. No, no, it doesn't taste bad. But it's like not good for you. Some people said it causes inflammation. But on the, at the end of the day, it was fine. It was really fine. Uh, D. Mora, thank you for the subscription with Prime. Appreciate that. M. Fazio. Let's see, Tristan, Jalen for 100 bits, Augie the only G for another 100 bits, Jordy, Matthew, thank you for uh, subscribing with Prime, Zadie, 21 for with 100 bits, thank you guys very, very much. So now we're in the hype train level four, and for everyone who's on YouTube, um, you normally would see the hype train in your actual chat if you were hanging out with us on Twitch, so you should do that one day, twitch.tv slash Carla Marie and Anthony. I wonder if people usually check out YouTube if they've missed our live show or in replacement of not having to wake up for a live show or be here on time for a live show? I don't think anyone was waking up purposely to watch us. No, I think some people... People have done it on vacation, which means they woke up specifically to hang out with us. Don't don't sell yourself short, Carla Marie. This is a world-class show. Mm. We actually have been uh, having some people reach out to us to interview us about, like, the path since radio, Twitch, podcasting, all the different things. What are you uh, scrolling down it to was, see? It was paused. Oh. And uh, I know you have the limited edition candle in your hand. Do you want to explain that real quick, Carla, before we move on? We have a collab with Wax Cabin Candle Co. And this is one of the 11 labels you can shop. Um, it says, you look great. It's our official you look great logo. It's holographic. All of them are holographic. And you can choose the label and whatever scent you want from Wax Cabin. And today I'll be posting a review 
from my mom of her candles. Of the candles, like the artwork or the scents or both? Or what is it? It's a world-class review of just her order. This sounds like I'm going to see a weird Yelp review. That, that makes no sense. Oh, it's a video. Oh, okay, it's a vi- she sent you a video? Mm-hmm. Wow, that's impressive. Uh, let's see, if I miss Twitch, I listen on YouTube. How long are they available for? I think they're done on Friday, right? Well, sh- we were told two weeks. And they started on Monday. Last so week. I would buy them by this Friday just yeah. to make sure that the store doesn't close over the weekend. I'll find out. But yeah, it's, uh, let's see, Jay Price said September 9th. Is that when you're saying that it ends? Jay Perez knows more than we do. And I appreciate that. Say it on the website? Let's see. Got mine yesterday, says Martha. Jay Lynn got mine yesterday as well. That's awesome. Thank you guys very, very much. How do you, how do you feel about them? <laughs> how do you feel about candles? Yeah, yeah. Mine's coming today. We're stuck a little bit in hype train level four. And I promise you guys that today there's a little surprise after we take this shooter Oh, from Seattle Cocktail Club, because I also have something that I've got to do once we hit the hype train. You're not saying what it is? Not yet. I think if you tell people, then they will do the hype train. Well, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, Jen, thank you for another 100 bits. Okay, you know what, Carmen? I'm not going to show it yet. I'm going to put it over here. Damn, look at that. Liz from Connecticut, thank you for getting us through hype train level four. So... If you were with us, I want to say at this point, it was like three weeks ago. I explained, maybe even longer, I explained that I'm doing this workout program from a guy whose programs I've been doing for a while now. His name is Dr. Jim Stepani. Um, I found his original workout through like the bodybuilding.com app called Body Space. Mm. And then I started following him in, in, on uh, Instagram, all that stuff. And he has a program called, God, why am I blanking on the name? Swole by Sunday. Some, basically something like that. It's uh, <laughs> Swole day every day. Well, because the first one I did was called Shortcut to Shred. Oh, God. I was kidding. The second one I did was called The Superman. Then I did Superman 2. What is this called? I, I cannot wait to hear the name of this program. And this one. Oh, God. I have no freaking service back here. I hate this house. Fuck off. <laughs> I realized I forgot to put my bronzer on today. Oh, it's called Showtime. And it's a four-week program that's supposed to be, like, kind of modeled after bodybuilding and fitness show prep. It's like, that's the the mindset. Are we going to, like, lube you up and put bronzer on you? No, not not today, at least. Not today. At the end of this program, (laughs) can we do that on Switch, please? My arms are too hairy for that. I'll shave them. So, it's called Showtime, and the program is four weeks, and what happens in the gym is... I don't need to go through all of that, but there's a uh, diet program that goes along with it. And week one, I went through before. And then because of timing, like I just repeated part of week one and then gave up on it before my vacation to Nashville. Week two, the midday snack, you know what? Uh, I can't be here for this. The midday snack is where I'm going to have a problem because I've never had this food before. And let me let me explain to you what this plan is like so he breaks up by meal so breakfast i'm supposed to have three whole eggs three egg whites a cup of oatmeal and my fish oil pills which are four of them which they're huge uh then some protein then i do my workout lunch is pretty normal uh turkey deli meat with two slices of whole wheat bread and a teaspoon or or tablespoon of fat-free mayo and here's where things get weird the midday snack is one can of sardines in olive oil with six whole wheat crackers. So I'm just, and I've never had sardines. You're going to open that in this room? And this apparently is a can of sardines. Light the candle before he opens the sardines. Oh, that's a good idea, actually. You might want to do that. Because this is going to, do they, I've never literally opened a can. Do they really smell that bad? It's freaking fish in a can. But it's, it's lathered up in uh, olive oil. Shouldn't it like, I don't know, not be gross? So this, along with the drink, is one of the things that I'll be eating after we get through Hype Train Level 5, which we've got about two minutes left for that. So I went to Fred Meyer yesterday when I was shopping for this meal, this meal plan, I should say. And I was in the tuna section, which is also where you find sardines. And I also am concerned because 
Shouldn't this be refrigerated or something? Well, then the tuna should be too. Or is the olive oil like the preservative? And that's what's keeping me from dying when I eat this. I don't know. I, I'm going to throw up. So. Like, I'm not going to be able to open my mouth to put the shot in there if that's open. We'll so. do the shot first. Okay. So, I, as I was trying to figure out, like, what brand of sardines to get, there's, like, the really cheap store brand. Oh, boy. We got through the hype train, didn't we? We did, which means I'm going to have to eat these sardines now. Uh, maybe that's what we'll do instead of taking shots. For no, the- we will not. <laughs> do that so get me the so i actually went normally like with tuna i went with like the cheapest tuna i could get when i was doing that part of the meal plan i actually went with these slightly more expensive sardines oh so they're fancy sardines. they're fancier sardines because i don't know this was like two but 250 per can there were cans that were a dollar per can and i thought to myself if there's a quality difference in these what sardines we're working with here i don't know you Bella? should see if they want to uh, do a social media endorsement. The, a can of sardines? It's I don't cute. Know they... It's cute packaging. It is. Lightly smoked sardines in the organic, ex- inorganic extra virgin olive oil. Oh, so Lee said she loves sardines. And then Danielle says she's she also loves sardines. But here's the problem. I'm not supposed to put Caesar like dressing or anything like no. that. I'm supposed to eat it. Out of the can. Okay, you wouldn't put Caesar. These are made, like, Caesar dressing is made out of Oh, I thought someone said to use Caesar dressing. Okay, I'm an idiot. But. (laughs) My grandma, I think, used to, like, eat these. I'm supposed to just eat it out of the can. Now, it says I'm allowed to have it with whole wheat crackers. Are you going to? I have crackers with me. But I think what I want to do. How many cans did you buy? uh, I bought six cans. All right. I need to. So have the drink first. I'm going to explain what I'm going to do instead of eating it with the crackers first. Caesar dressing is made with sardines. There we go. Yeah, there were some, there were some, uh, oh, I didn't measure sardines that said they came in a, like the pack had mustard in it. But I'm not supposed to put anything on them. Oh, Lisa said, isn't Caesar dressing made with anchovies? Oh. Is it anchovies or sardines There's or both? Difference. Did we just offend the fish? I don't think we offended the fish. I think we're fine. All right. Time to have our daiquiri time. Oh, out. it's ancho. Everyone's saying it's anchovies now. All right. Not all right, sardines. Right. Either way, there's fish in Caesar dressing. No. Okay. Can you move that? You, you can't move it? Well, where am I going <laughs> to In the bed? All right. I'm struggling today. With what? The day. Why? I had wine last night, but that's not why I'm struggling. Every time I turn it. it well, it's because you keep. Here, give me it. Let go. Let go. Which way is it going? No, wrong way. There you go. Ooh, it gets so cold when you shake it. It's like making ice cream. Ooh. So these are the baby daiquiris, the daiquiri timeout which are shooters provided to us by our friends at Seattle Cocktail Club. And we were also learning that you're supposed to drink things cold because it makes it easier. But if you drink it warm, you taste it more, and it burns. All right, you ready? Wait. I think Carla Marie did take a gummy, I, Martha. Wait, oh, wait, wait, wait. You ready? Cheers. Cheers. Here we go. Mm. That is way easier. Oh, my God. That is way easier than ripping a straight shot of warm vodka. It's good. That was nice. We also found out that apparently a regular daiquiri, like with, which is, uh, what was in the daiquiri? And this will rep, uh, what? recipe will be on the web. I tried saying recipe and website at the same time, and I said website. <laughs> this recipe, if it's not already, will be on their website. Okay. So what we also learned was that a daiquiri, a traditional daiquiri is oftentimes the test used to oh. see if a bartender is like worth working at your bar. Yeah. Just like with chefs, oftentimes they're they're told to make like a perfect egg. Mm-hmm. If you can make a perfect daiquiri, then you're like a top a top notch. I would have no idea. Uh, yeah, I can't make drinks. A top notch bartender. All right. Um, wait, there's some, oh. When we were at having our meeting at Seattle Cocktail Club yesterday, they were like, finally, you won't make awful shots of faces and awful sounds. And I was like, but then no one's going to watch anymore. I don't think anyone watches. The sounds, the faces are funny. 
that I don't know if people like hearing, especially if they're listening with headphones in, like the gagging yeah, yeah, yeah. noises. It's funny though when you think about the things you are you are normally exposed to in the regular world. You can hear so many different sounds and they don't bother you as much. When you have headphones in though, and they're like directly going right into your eardrums, there are sounds that really get people mad. Okay, well then they can come back tomorrow. Wait, before you do that, I'm yes. gonna do my surprise. Oh, okay, yeah, let's do that but surprise I, first. I gotta come back and I, I need an save. entrance. An entrance? Yeah, so when I come back, it's going to be here. What do you mean you need an entrance? I'm just saying, like, be ready. What do I have to do? I don't know what you're saying. I need a minute. One minute. And you have a cat hair on your eyelash. Can I get it? No, I'll get it. All right. Wait, so what do I? What am I supposed to do? Just be, just be here. <laughs> okay, but when you said you needed an entrance, what does that mean? I just meant that when I come back in, you'll see the surprise. It's not a surprise. It's just, I'm so excited. You see what I deal with now. Yeah, I was thinking exactly, Jordy Matthew. I was thinking she needed like a WWE entrance. It's like I was supposed to go download Stone Cold Steve Austin's glass breaking thing. <sighs> or The Undertaker. Who, I, this is a great question. I don't know if you'll ever get to the, the bottom of it or get a, an answer that's agreed upon by anybody. But for wrestling fans, who do you think had the best wrestling entrance of all time? Now, you have to take in the entire entrance. So not just the music, but the walk down. Stone Cold is good, but Stone Cold at the end of the day, it was just that glass breaking and then he sprinted into the ring. There was nothing like unique about anything other than the music. Undertaker, however, you got the lights going off, fire, all that stuff. He turns the lights on by raising his hands. That's pretty cool. Then you had like Degeneration X, The Brood, very underrated. Edge, Christian, and Gangrel, very, very underrated. Shawn Michaels is good. I don't know if any of the, like Macho Man and, and Hulk, like they didn't do anything that crazy. And you measure it by the pop of the audience, too. That is a very good point. Manda Panda 05X. All right, you have to close your eyes. I have to, okay, so Carla Marie's in the hallway telling me I've got to close my eyes. Ricky, I did not eat the gross stuff yet, so you're just in time. And now I am closing my eyes, Carla Marie, if you can hear me. Okay, hold on. Is this gross? Are you going to touch me with something weird? Okay, open them. Oh, you got that stupid ass shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you brought the cat in here like you got another cat. This is the this is the seventy dollar hocus pocus shirt. But there's a cat, and I'll tell you in a second. How much this shirt was what? 70, 75 bucks originally at the Disney store? At Disney World. I got the black flame candle, Winifred's book, and Zachary Banks. Zachary okay. Banks. Okay. So, this is not a business expense for the <laughs> first off, money be. from Queens. On the show, I talked about how there was this amazing Hocus Pocus shirt in Disney, and I didn't get it because it was seventy five dollars. And then I had like non buyer's remorse, which I never have. I talk myself out of things, and I'm like, "Good job, you didn't buy that." Mm -hmm. But I came home from Disney, and I was like, "Man, I'm mad. I didn't get that shirt." And I got a DM from Fueled by Dana, who's in the chat all the time. Okay. She listens to us from Long Island, and she was like, hey, my dad works for ABC, and I'm pretty sure I can order that shirt with his discount. That's cool. Do you want it? And I was like, fuck it, let's do it. Does her dad know that she was doing this? I don't know. <laughs> so she got it for me. It was ended up with uh, shipping and tax. It was still cheaper, but. So how much was it? I think 60 bucks. So you saved 10 bucks. 15. Well, no more because there would have been tax. Oh, uh, sure, sure, sure. Okay. So. Yeah, what's was, tax in Florida? So I was like, you know what? What are the odds? I have to get it. And I don't really have Halloween shirts. This, I'll tell and, you why people don't have Halloween shirts. Halloween is one day. And, and, and. So yesterday when we were at Seattle Cocktail Club, Jessica, who works there, complimented on my 
Winifred Sanderson, Winifred Sanderson sticker, which I got at a lair that says, oh, look, another glorious morning makes me sick. And we got into a whole conversation about Hocus Pocus. And I was dying inside because I wanted to talk about this. So I texted her as soon as we left and I was like, look what I got. Oh, Fueled by Dana is in the chat, by the way. There she is. Hello, Fueled by Dana. Save, listen, saving 15 bucks is better than saving no bucks. Right. And so Dana said her dad probably doesn't know, but that's what he gets for making making my name his password. So that was your big Wait, surprise. So now I know I can log so on your, and everything. So your big surprise mm-hmm. was a shirt for you. Yeah. Not, nothing for anyone else. No, but I knew everyone would appreciate it. <laughs> I have a Hocus Pocus t-shirt, too. So. What? Ow! What? Is there a cat down I there? dangling this, and he... I was I was not on purpose. Oh, man. <laughs> He's my Thackeray Banks. Where is he? There's a cat down here somewhere. Look. This isn't up being one of the weirdest shows we've ever had. Doesn't it look so cute with the cat? Are you trying to keep this cat until Halloween as like an accessory? No, you would not love to. We need to get this we need to get these cats adopted at no, some point. John Man wants to stay here forever. All right, let's go. Back to the show. <laughs> That is Kamuchi, for the record. John Kamuchi. For people who, and I know there's a lot of people that jump in and out of different conversations that we're having. Where are you going? I just want to show the back again. <laughs> the detail work is amazing. Just like, can you narrate what it says? Can I narrate? It says, it's just, it's just a bunch of hocus pocus. But you knew what it said, right? So why did I have to narrate it? Um... So those cats, oh. oh, yeah, they might actually come in here for the sardines. What are you doing? Let me see how they act. To the sardines? John, come back. Can I go? No, it's just, it's fine. They do, it's funny. When I, uh, when I prepare, Papa's or when I was preparing my tuna for a week, every time I opened a can of tuna, I would be completely surrounded by cats. It's funny. Four cats would start swarming. Let me clear out this hype cup. If for whatever reason... You're looking at me as I get ready to eat these sardines. And you're like, I feel bad for Anthony. I want to fill the hype cup a little more. By all means. No crazy dream girl. You what? didn't share because I would not let my cats eat canned tuna. Oh, no, I did not share. Plus, I put mayo in there. They eat canned cat food. <laughs> <laughs> it's the same thing. All right. So the way I'm supposed to eat these in the diet is my midday snack. I'm switching it up today. And maybe that's what I'll do for the next uh, couple days is I'll make like instead of taking a shot and being unhealthy, I'll take... Six shots of sardines. But the way I'm supposed to eat it as my midday snack, according to the meal plan that I'm on, is I'm supposed to eat one full can of sardines along with, I guess there's six sardines in here with uh, six whole wheat crackers. So I can put like one sardine on a cracker. There's going to be more than, actually, I don't even know what a sardine looks like. I've never in my life opened up a can of sardines. But here's what I'm thinking. What I'll do is I'll eat the sardine without, the first one that I'm ever going to eat, I'm going to eat it without a cracker. Okay. Because if it's really bad, then I'll actually enjoy it more with the cracker. You know what I mean? Like, I'm going to play this little mental game, this mind trick with myself. What are you doing? Well, the chat says, leave the door cracked, so if they hear the can, they come running. All right. I'm going to go get a match. Okay. All right. There are more than six, typically. Oh, Jesus. And there are no bones or anything? I can just, like, eat it? Like, I just down the hatch. Oh, there are bones. Well, then how the hell am I supposed to just eat this? But I can eat the whole thing. You, I eat sardine bones? Oh, this is bad. The taste is never going to leave your mouth. Said. Ricky's saying that there are bones, but you can eat it all. Okay. We haven't opened this camera yet. <sighs> Oh, they're smoked and the bones disintegrated. That's interesting. Wait, there's eyes on these? They don't chop the heads off? (laughs) Angela said I feel so bad for you. I'm telling you right now, if I didn't gag from the shots, I'd gag from this. This is the Bella brand of sardines. (laughs) The fancy brand. 200 calories per serving, one serving per container. All right. This is such a wet. Are you going to? No, I'm waiting until I want to see what it's like first. You're going to smell it first? Yeah. 
This is like a wacky radio bit. Look at you. Yeah, except for I'm doing it for the gains, you know? It looks like there's three. <laughs> <laughs> They're drenched in oil. I need. How do I? We need a, a napkin? I need a napkin and a fork, I think. What? Maybe even a plate. Why are they so, are sardines? Do you that, think you can grab that as I show everyone the sardines? Parts of sardines or something? I, I can't tip it too much, but that's the those are the sardines in olive oil. Yeah, I need a fork. You everyone's saying use a fork, Carla Marie. Uh how much protein to fat? Let's see. Total fat is twenty two percent. And I'm really worried I'm gonna like spill this on my head. Protein, 19 grams of protein. That's really not that much. This seems like a bad idea. No, I didn't prefer, I thought it was just, I was going to open it up and just be able to like grab a sardine and pop it, you know? Have I been confusing sardines and anchovies this whole time? I don't think they, they like it in olive oil. Please, I, I have to eat these. <laughs> All right, so let's uh, let's do this. I guess. Can you use lemon juice on them? So I just oh, it like it, it like falls apart. I just want to get a sardine. Okay, it fell apart. I'll eat half of it, I guess. Why did I do that? <laughs> Is this live? Are you, what are you doing? Oh, you're just filming me. Okay. So this is my first ever sardine. You're going to eat that every day for mm. snack. Mm -hmm. Snacks are supposed to be fun. Mm. I can feel the gains. Oh, it's stinky. It's not great. Okay. What the heck? Mm, 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 oh, no. mm, mm. They sent us trick candles. Okay. So. Oh, I didn't cut it first. This is why. Oh, I blew it out when I blew out the match. So this is why I didn't eat. The cracker first. I'm gonna have I have water next to me, and uh, I'll have that in, in a second. Shot? I might just drink that whole container of uh, not strawberry daiquiri. This is worse daiquiri. than seeing it. Yeah, I know you guys got me not gagging during uh, shots, but you get this. I'm not gagging though. Okay, here we go. Now I'll do it with the cracker. Should be a little better. Well, the cracker is way better. UD Flyer. UD Flyer said, this is great. Totally killing my productivity, though. For the record, there are three sardines. This breaks your intermittent fast, doesn't it? Ew, you have like a fish particle on your beard. Do you know what scent that candle is? People are asking. Um, I have to check. It smells like a warm summer. No. <laughs> Smell very good considering I was just smelling a can of sardines. Um, I think right. this one is. This is gonna be the second sardine, full sardine down the hatch. How many sardines are in there? Three. I thought. I think this one is sweet mornings. Oh man, this one's big. The Rock Flash said, I never get any work done when I pay too much attention to your show. Well, you're eating a whole can right now? Mm -hmm. You think I want to do this twice? Martha and I, there were other people saying that if we kiss, it's going to be like me kissing the cats, which I will kiss the cats sometimes after they eat, and I'm like, oh. We don't kiss. That's disgusting. We don't do that. According to the internet. Wait, did we ever pull up those pictures? Oh, we didn't. I have those, though. We'll talk about that in a second. All right. Now there's two full sardines. Got one more. Do you want to try? No, absolutely not. Why not? 
I think I'll throw up. I don't think you will. Try like a little bit. On a cracker? Sure. Only, crazy. only because of My Day Friday this week. Why? What happened on My Day Friday? No, it needs to be smaller than that. Absolutely. Make it oh, that's, that's no, a fine no, piece. No, that's it's a smaller whole, than the cactus. That's the cracker. size of Nemo. I need a whole, I need a half. I need it in half. You're just, it's one, it's less, than, it's smaller than a cracker. Just do it. I need half of that. No, you don't. Uh, take off a little bit. Take off a big chunk there. John and I've I. i got sardine gills in my teeth. No, you're going to break the cracker. John and I discussed. On my day Friday, how we would try anything, even if someone said it's gross. I tried. I listened to that yesterday. You listened to the whole episode? No, I got like 15 minutes through. You didn't tell me that. Why? What do you think? Pretty good. John's really good. Fuck off. <laughs> All right, let's see it. Can I have another cracker as a sandwich? No, no, no. You just, just do it. It's uh, I ate a whole... Look, look at this. <laughs> John. Look at this monster fish I have to eat. Have you showed anyone what it looks like? I, I did, but now that I have this, I can show. No, no, no. Erica's not eating. She's not even interested. I gotta eat this whole thing right now. That's a big ass fish. All right, wait. Where's my water? Wait, can you feel the bones crunching? Yeah, you can. Shut up. <laughs> you have to find out. Oh, John's in here too. John, what you have to do. Yeah, but I was I was focusing on the fish. So John and I have been in the, the tuna can gang. I want to see if John is gonna join the sardine gang. If he's gonna join my school. <laughs> A fish? Yeah. Come on, just do it. I it went up my nose when I put it up by my mouth. What? The smell. Oh yeah, well that's what happens with smells. They go in your nose. Carla Marie? See, it's not... With the cracker, it's not that bad. It's, it's not that good, but it's not that bad. <coughs> You're... Ew! <laughs> what the hell just happened? Did you... You really just throw it up in your mouth? Some people aren't built for this gains life, you know? That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> I can't believe I just did that in the camera. I think she's throwing up. That sounds not good. Are you uh, okay? <laughs> um, well, Ricky, I hate me too sometimes. <laughs> Usually, actually. Out of all the shots and things that Carla Marie's had, that's what that's what finally broke her. That's what finally did it. Carla Marie, are you dead? No, she's not dead. She's fine. All right, let me finish this last sardine. I need to break it into two. <laughs> Carla Marie's yelling from the bathroom that it is stuck in her braces. So I'm going to knock out this. So we're going to end this sardine thing now. John, if you're still in the chat, I want to know if you are strong enough to take the sardine challenge and post it today. Whole can of sardines, you and your bros that you live with. I'm going to crunch into the microphone. You good? What happened? Um, I threw up, like actually. What? Because I couldn't get the taste out of my mouth. So then, you ha it has to be removed from the room. It ha it's going, and this is it. That's it. Out of here. Downstairs. I just rinsed out with mouthwash four times. It's stuck in my teeth. I actually think I sprained something in my stomach. I'll be right back. That was sad. I don't think I swallowed any of it, but I somehow just burped it up.
It's stuck in my. It's stuck. I don't think today's show is going to get reposted. It's stuck in my brace. I think I wore a hair ponytail today. I love seafood. Love it more than Anthony does. I don't like it when it tastes like fish. <laughs> Danielle. Wait, that was clipped? Can't wait. I know. I actually was going to use my. You're a way better co-host, Erica. You don't make me eat gross things. You like a shot? There you go. Fred said, sardines aren't seafood. They're canned ass. My stomach is... My stomach is... My stomach is swirling. I took the rest of this. She's the prettiest cat in all the land. All right. So, guys, how's life? I still have it. It's still in my braces. Okay. You know, like, after you throw up, you get a headache? And I think I pulled the stomach muscle. Wait, did John say if he's going to be, uh... He doesn't know where to buy sardines, apparently. Just the same exact oh, same exact place you buy tuna? It's like right in the shelf, adjacent or on top, somewhere. They're right there. Do I have a fever now? You have a fever from the sardines? You're a little warm. Yeah. yeah. Uh, do anchovies get the same reaction? We I have no idea. never know. Can I have a no, cracker? we'll know one day. Oh, uh, I took the car. <laughs> the crackers are downstairs now. You had the opportunity. You had me take everything out, and I had to finish the the sardines downstairs. I wasn't just going to leave them. So safe to say I'll never be going on Fear Factor. Yeah, that was like, and sardines aren't even that crazy I to could, eat. I just, there was just something. It's the morning. Oh, God. What? What happens? Morning sickness from fish? No, you're not going to get sick. No, but why did I react like that? Because you're weak. You're not strong like me. And then that's it. All right. So, John said perfect when I told him where he can find sardines. So, now I want to know, John, if you do this, let me know. And you've got to go live on your Instagram and do the sardine challenge. Sardines and crackers and that's it. I want to see John do this. I think him and all his bros are going to, like, buy out all the, uh, the sardines once they realize how strong they're getting. Stop. Yeah, because they're throwing up and they're getting, like. <laughs> no, that's not how that works. Um, let's see. So yes, today Tacoma Swifty asks, that's normally the sardines are supposed to be my midday snack. I had them as my breakfast instead, obviously. So I'll just flip that around. I don't know if the timing of everything matters that much. I'm sure it does, but I'm also not like an actual bodybuilder. So how you feeling? What do you want to talk about now, Carla, right now that you're dying? We actually do have, uh, two screenshots that we did not get to yesterday. That we should get to. What'd you say? I have something on my list as well. Well, do you want to do the, the screenshots first? Let's do it while I'm fired up. And while John's in here, since he's the man in question. Oh, that's true. Here we go. Oh, wait. What? So let me explain it. Okay. We did our podcast swap. So John was on My Day Friday. Anthony was on 20-somethings doing nothing. And Jake was on Almost On Air. So we and they were, they were all pretty good. 20-somethings cool. doing nothing was definitely the best. No. So I had a picture of John and I from... Scottsdale, when we did our live stream, we picked our names of who we were going to do the podcast with right after. John and I were like, let's take a picture together so we can use this when we do our podcast. Okay. So I jumped on his back and we have like literally, there were 22 photos total Jeez. of us like posing, whatever. And Anthony was actually in the background of some of them. And a lot of people noticed that. And that was, we were cracking up about, but he was just in the background, like making a face at us. And the internet took this several ways. Mm -hmm. So, for the record, I was on John's back. We were in matching bathing suits. People were real weird. Yeah, we were all wearing uh, 
Roosevelt's bathing suits. But suit. people were like, why are you wearing a matching bathing Like, they were confused why John and I were wearing matching bathing suits because they, out of contact, it was like me and this They didn't see the sex of us. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> so, this is one of the amazing Facebook comments I got on the photo. From Robert. He said, if my lady had her lady parts all over the back of some other guy, we would have a real problem. And I said, excuse me? Who the fuck do you think you are? I am not your lady, which is why that comment should have never left your misogynistic brain. Men who are secure in their relationship are attractive. Men who think women can't piggyback on other men are gross. There it is. Were you mad that I was piggybacking? No, I wasn't mad. That's the stupidest thing I could have possibly been mad about. And it's funny because obviously there are guys like Robert mm-hmm. who yeah, you would actually get mad. And it doesn't make sense to me. Yeah. Out of all the things to get mad about in the world, why that? And I, I didn't actually go onto Facebook to respond. I thought about it. But it's just funny how someone was able to take a picture of our group of friends having a good time yeah. in Scottsdale and make it about their insecurities. That's all that was. And when yeah. people say stuff like that, I do think it has way more to do about with their insecurities and their incompetencies rather than what's actually going on in the picture. And in the background, like Anthony was in a lot of them. Yeah. And just like this in the background, like making his Anthony face. But it could have been anything. In co- it could have been like you're being f- like none of it was that you were actually mad. No, I knew so, I was in the picture. Right. So people on. <laughs> Facebook, it's so fun to post the same things on Instagram and Facebook. Mm -hmm. Facebook's just an angry place. It's like two different worlds. Yeah. And all the Facebook comments are like, wow, Anthony jealous much? And you didn't see not one of those on Instagram. So I reposted it. I was like, if you guys think that I posted a photo with my boyfriend in the background purposely angry just to embarrass him, you're fucking dumb. Yeah. And that's, a lot of people are saying, that it's just my face. Yeah. Like, I don't know how uh, I, I make faces in pictures. But, and I, and then I tweeted this. I was like, I forgot how annoying it is being in a relationship and posting photos with other men. Like, well, because everyone's got the, opinions. Yeah, I forgot how annoying the internet gets. I haven't done that in years. And part of the reason I haven't done that in years is that reason. And it's just like, once you put your relationship out there, yes, you deal with this stuff. But this is part of the reason why we didn't for the longest time is... We didn't want to deal with this stuff when we were still just starting dating mm-hmm. and everything. And now it's like, okay, I know your insecurities and blah, blah, blah. I have none. Okay. Oh, my God. John Cucci, <laughs> thank you for saying that. What? He said it's a very Roy Kent face. Every, for people who don't know Roy Kent, that's a character on uh, Ted Lasso, which is on Apple TV. Jason Sudeikis is the main character. And everyone who has watched the show has told me that I have very Roy Kent vibes. I've been telling you since the first episode, you are Roy Kent. I don't know. If that, it's not a good thing, though. No. Because he's like the... But he's the... I see it, though, because he's the asshole on the show, but he's also, like, the caring asshole on the show where he's outwardly, like, very cold and demonstrative. We should be but, Roy Kent and Keeley for Halloween. But he also, like, cares a lot. He takes care of his niece. He's, like, always there for people when they actually need him. He's just not, like, warm and cuddly. Mm-hmm. So I get it. I'm cool with that. Uh, There was another comment, though, that came through on... This was Instagram, I believe. What are you doing over there, Carla Marie? Yeah, um, Erica and John do not do well when they're not together. Serious separation anxiety. They'll just scream for one another. So this also came... This actually came through on Instagram. It's not like a terrible comment. But I wanted to point it out. So women... Underscore, 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 four, underscore, 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 women said, I've yet to see a pic of at worst Anthony being warm and loving towards you like he's stuck in the hide it mode or in hide it mode. The other guy looks happier. The other guy, I'm assuming, is John. And I was, it was, there were fun pictures. I was like, I don't know, I was having a good time because I think the the balance of Carla Marie being very, very excited and me being, being very, deadpan right. serious in the that is funnier for a picture than both this, of us just like man we're wait, so happy this is hold on oh i have to put it back that is on the photo of the two of us that i posted. yeah 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 this is the what picture I, that I carla marie posted oh i just want to see what i said oh i just said that's my face i'm sorry well i said 
LOL, thanks for your assessment on our relationship. However, we have and always will be best friends first. We keep 99% of what we do private by choice because the last thing we need are people judging every single move slash moment. Also, just because someone is in a relationship doesn't mean they need to post PDA. Yeah, and I've, I've said this before. I'm not necessarily anti-affection. That's not what it is. No. But I don't, I don't curate affection for Instagram. Yeah. Like, I'm not taking a picture specifically so that it looks like it's lovey-dovey for other people to comment and like on. And there actually, a lot of people on the chat are making a very good point. We took that photo before it was announced that's that we true. were together. So we didn't know, like, maybe I was going to post that photo in that moment. Mm-hmm. Even then, like, I still have plenty of photos now of you acting the same way. But at the same time, I, I still stick to the rule of, like, if it's an, if somehow there's a candid moment that's fantastic and it looks great, that's awesome. But I don't think, like, if someone happens to to snap a picture of a cuter moment and it's actually candid, like, whatever, but I'm not going to, like, pose oh. that way specifically for a picture, if that makes any sense. Yeah. Um, let's see. So my friend, um, Andrea Michelle, wants us to use us for a photo shoot. To do what? In um, Sometime in the fall, she wants to do a couple photo shoot, either in the fog or the rain. Yeah, I don't know how that's going to go after what I just said. <laughs> but we'd be models. Like, we're not, you know. I don't know. It's not, like, for us. What did John just say? I don't know. What he, where is Anthony it? Anthony called me just to ask how I am last night. He's affectionate. Aw. I don't know if that's... Is that affectionate? Yes. I thought affectionate is like within a couple. No, you can be affectionate to anyone. I guess you could. Yeah, that makes sense. Aren't you and John a couple anyway? We are. John, you ruined our secret. Blew it. Could have never done this whole relationship thing with John. You're just making sure that John's not trying to take your spot. I'm <laughs> yeah, to. that's... Although I did find out... So when I was listening to your podcast, you and John, and I've learned a lot from the different podcasts. Um, there's a couple <laughs> things in Erica and Jake's podcast on Almost On Air yep. that I want to discuss at some point down the road, and I'm sure I'm going to make notes um, with what you and John were talking about on My Day Friday. Yeah. But apparently John gave you permission in the podcast to ad- fully adopt two more kittens. Mm-hmm. And I'm okay with it as long as John moves here oh, why would and takes care that? of them. Why did you do that to me? I'm going to cry. <laughs> You're not going to cry. What? I thought you were telling me we could. No, I'm not. We're not. We're not I'm not going to live in a house with four cats forever. You have been for two months. What's the difference if it's the rest of your life? <laughs> There's a huge difference. Why did you just do that to me? <laughs> I didn't think you were getting so involved. Um, and the soft pretzel thing with uh, Erica and Jake is still something that bothers me. I listened to it yesterday when I was at the gym. Erica and Jake did a podcast about snacks. Let's yeah, you know, let's talk about it. Was Erica interviewing Jake about snacks for the most part? No, there was a lot of good stuff in there too. Yeah. Jake had some uh, some motivational mm-hmm. advice. I agree. At the end of the podcast, Erica was her amazing self the whole time. See, John said the same thing. I almost lost my shit right there. <laughs> Did I, no one thought that I was going to say, yes, adopt more cats. No, I really thought you were. This was your surprise moment to tell me you finally No, the surprise came was the sardines. It. That was bad enough. <laughs> Meg. Listen, you're, you can, if you, would, if you would like, you can. This is your house. Do whatever you want. Keep the cats. We need to get a bigger house. I, I would just need to go find somewhere else. And, you know, that actually brings me to a good point. I was talking to my friend, Tim. LA Fitness and Ballard, and I said something about, I I mistakenly said back at my apartment, and as I was correcting myself, I said, I mean, not my apartment, I don't have one of those anymore, Carla Marie's house. Just say the house. And he said, you mean your house? And this is a very clear distinction, and I want to explain why I make this distinction, and I do not call this my house, because you paid for everything. You went through the process on your own, you did all of it, Mm -hmm. you were an actual adult and bought it your own place. I did. Brand new townhome. You saved up all the money. You got the loan. You got the credit check. All of those things, right? Mm-hmm. I don't deserve to call this place my house. Okay, that's fair. It's not your house, but it's your home. For now. 
<laughs> for now it is. Okay. But no, but that's one of the reasons I don't call this my house. This is Carla Marie's house. I live here and I now, I guess, pay rent, but this is not my house. I didn't do any of the actual that's adult work to get this house. Correct. So it's your home. That's a, a home. It's where I live. Yeah. Right now. Why? Because <laughs> I'm not going to live here forever. I don't think I'm going to live here forever, at least. I mean, probably we won't be doing that because where are we going to put all of the cats? Uh, Tim is the best. I don't know who said that first Everyone in the chat. Who met Tim at the um, Seattle Cocktail Club's bodega pop up? Yeah, he is a, a very kind human. He's a good dude. I like him a lot. He's probably one of the people I've known in Seattle the longest outside of work. Now that I think about it, because of course, it with is. the within the first year of working at Power ninety three three, and I had he was uh, the manager of the location that I went to, LA Fitness and Ballard. And I would see him and have like small talk in the beginning as I swiped and he signed me up for the gym and all that stuff. But one day I walked in and I forgot what we were talking about on the air. And as I was walking in, he stopped me and he said he and another coworker of his, uh, Catherine, were debating something that we did or talked about on the air. Right. And they were arguing back and forth and they listened every morning. I had no idea he even knew that I worked on the radio up until that point. And... We then, we, we would talk about things about the radio and things we said, dirty little secrets, so on and so forth. Uh, and we just became really good friends. That's awesome. And I've known him probably the longest that outside of anyone from the building I used to work in. It's kind of crazy. Um, John said that he is basically a child, so the two of us can take care of him as practice to see if we ever want kids. John? Isn't that what we're doing with the cat? I think John... He, I get it. He is a big kid, and I and I like that about Wait, John. No. Just listen to my night Friday. We talk about this. Oh, so I can't keep talking. Okay, go ahead. But I don't think practicing on a twenty-something-year-old is the same because, like, I'm definitely not wiping John's butt. Is he gonna wake up at like two a.m.? I'm not gonna like. Here's the airplane. I'm not gonna like do that. You might need to with the sardines. So I don't know. If, I don't know if he'd be good practice. You know. Also, wait. I mean, why is Anthony making? Shayna FC sad. What did I do? Because you were talking about your longest friend here, I think. Why is that sad? I don't know that she meant sad. sad. Oh, oh, okay. We'll find out. But um, I think it was Amanda said that if we got married, this would be your house. And that's not necessarily true, right? No. Yeah. I'm For the record, I am all for, they, they're called uh, commuter relationships. Com what? Commuter. Oh, that. But I mean, I was going to say, I thought you were going to say I'm all for a pre -dump, which I also am. Oh, yeah. I'm all for that, too. Yeah. Um, and that's way down the road. We're not even really going to talk about that. But there is the phenomenon of commuter relationships. Yes. And a commuter relationship is essentially when you're in a long-term, committed, and sometimes even married relationship, mm -hmm. and you still have separate homes. And I'm a huge fan of that. I think it's great. I don't hate it. A, it's better for, like, financially, if you can do that, that's great. You own more properties as a, as a pair now. But I don't think I would want to live in different states. No, eh, who knows? What if, okay. If there's kids. What if you were in a relationship, so Carla Marie? But if there's kids involved, you... It's a little tougher. But what if you were in a rela uh, relationship, Carla Marie, and you had like a mountain house that you lived in most of the time. The person you were in a relationship with had like a, a beach house. You both lived in those homes, but you could like visit each other as like little relationship vacations. I don't know what the question is. Would you? Would that be a commuter relationship you could go for? No, I'm not. I'm not saying I couldn't. I just wouldn't want. to. Yeah, but you don't want to be in different states. I don't want to have to fly. Okay. All right. I get that. So if it was New Jersey, you could have like a regular New Jersey home, but like a beach house or a yeah, Poconos house. Probably not going to be in a commuter relationship in New Jersey, though. That's true because commuting in New Jersey sucks. <laughs> it just. Yeah, a vacation ship, if you will. Thanks, yeah, Fred the Millman. People you're just with on vacation. Why are people saying Elvis and Alex? Do they, they not live in the same home? Not really. I mean, when you think about, I mean, during the Panini, yeah, but like um, Elvis was always in New York. Yeah. Like in the city. And Alex would have been on Staten Island working at the zoo a lot of times. Yeah, but he still also lived with, El with Elvis. Not always. Like oh. they, they. I think that's different. I don't know if that's a full time commuter relationship, but it could be. I would just like to put. Or are we going to have to split up Caroline and Max? No, I don't think I could do that to Max. What else do we have? 
Does no one else like the idea of a commuter relationship? Because I'm like all for it, actually. No, made by Erica said she likes it. She needs her space. Yeah, exactly. And then you, so each person can like decorate and live how they like. Like my sink would always be very clean. No water spots or anything around it. Fuck all the way off. <laughs> you would have, you wouldn't have sneakers laying around all the, uh, everywhere. I think there are, there are advantages to it. I'm just going to put this out there right now. Mm-hmm. I might actually throw up again. You had a tail of a sardine. I'm allergic, maybe. You're not allergic to sardines. Uh, Let's see. Question, will we ever make the live streams longer than one hour? It all kind of depends. Like, right now, technically, we've been on for more than an hour. We've done specialty streams, like with Erica and John and Mm -hmm. Ricky and Jake, where they've gone on forever. We have a group meeting tonight. We do have a group meeting tonight to talk about some other things. Um... Will we do it consistently? I don't know. It depends on how we develop this show, things we add, maybe people that we add at some point. Um, but there, it's. I would never say no, but it's just not in the plans like right now. What else do we have in the chat? Are you okay, Carla Marie? Yeah, I was reading. Okay, you just like completely fell off. Sorry. Was there gluten in that cracker? Imagine I threw up. No, I... You eat gluten all the time. Not all the time. Carla Marie does this thing, and I was actually talking to Ricky and uh, Ricky's boyfriend, AJ, about it. Because when Ricky visited with us, and she was part of our uh, road trip that we were on. Which was a year ago. She came to Seattle. Carla Marie hooked her up with her her, uh, naturopath, right? Dr. A. Mm -hmm. So Ricky got all her testing, did all that stuff, found out she's allergic to, like, air and the sun and grass. And... Ricky's done a pretty good job of eliminating all of those things from her life or her diet. Now, Carla Marie, on the other hand, because we were talking about this, we were talking about how Ricky, like, you were her motivation kind of or the the driving force to make her do all of that. It's like, you know, it's funny because Carla Marie has all of that information. And then every time I get something to eat that Carla Marie is allergic to, Carla Marie will come over and have parts of it. And I have to tell her every time, like, I'll, I'll get a burger and fries or something like that, and she'll start picking at the fries. And every time she grabs one, I go, Carla Marie, you are allergic, and you're going to be complaining about this. And Ricky actually saw it happen on the road trip. Not if I have one. But Ricky saw it happen on the road trip, which was my favorite part, where I would warn you before you ordered something. So through my conversations (laughs) with my doctor, not Anthony, who eats sardines out of a can, I have learned that as long as I have it in moderation... I am fine, and I can try different things to see how it makes my stomach feel. If I'm not eating all the things I'm allergic to and intolerant to at once, I should be fine. Okay. She told me to start incorporating things back into my diet like a year ago, and the two things I haven't incorporated again are coffee beans and peanuts because the times that I did by accident have them. Why did you have coffee by accident? uh, It was in a bar. It was in a breakfast bar. Oh, I thought I meant in a bar. Oh, that was peanuts. <laughs> like, like a okay, no, I like it. Bar. was peanuts in there. Coffee, I'm just scared that I will be fine and bring it back into my life again. I think Oh, like you life, don't want it. No, my okay. life has been just fine without coffee. I smell it and love it and want it, but my life is cheaper without it, and I don't have to pee all the time. And it's fair. It's fine. But peanuts almost killed me and kidney beans. So those are the three things you're staying away from. Mm-hmm. Totally. Um, it is time to get out of here, by the way. I know we just talked about going over an hour. We're not going to do that today. We will be back on Thursday. This will have another. We're going to be back to My Day Friday for the first time in almost a month. Mm-hmm. The two of us together yeah. doing My Day Friday. And I need to turn the camera off because I just realized I still I still have like sardines in my mouth, Stop. I think. So I've got to get those out. You okay? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us. Thank you for getting us through level five of the hype train Uh, dealing with the sardine experiment that I'm now going to have to do for the next five days straight. Ew, go shop candles. Peace out. Shout out Dana for getting me my Hocus Pocus shirt and shout out Quartz with a K who helped me on sizing because she has about five different of these jersey kind of t-shirts in Disney and she was like comparing them to all our You Look Great shirts for me and sending me pictures so I know what size I was. And also if you want to uh, purchase some of the special edition, limited edition candles that we have with Wax Cabin Candle Co. All you've got to do is in the chat, type exclamation point and the word wax. That's all you got to do, just like Carla Marie did from our show account. And September 9th is and the last you should. 
Why is it not popping up? It just did up there. Oh, okay. So there might be a, a time limit on there. Who did it before us? It did it because we said candles. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Lisa did it. Thank you, Lisa. For putting the, uh, the link in there. And then you'll see it again. Thank you, Lisa, again for doing that. Look at that twice. It is time for us to get out of here, Carla Marie. Stop, Cup Scouts. Oh, where's the, uh, the end button? There it is.